Hey folks, welcome to the channel Rock in the Country. I'm Don. I'm doing a gift request today from Jacob Harris. Jacob, shout out to you. Thank you for this gift. Jacob made uh, a donation to the channel for me to do like five or six of Jimmy Buffett's songs in honor of Jimmy's passing. I'd already done a live version of Margaritaville, and then now I'm going to be doing uh, presumably a studio version of it. So let's just see. Jimmy Buffett passed on September 1st, and I was shocked. I didn't know he was sick. So, and I didn't know a lot of Jimmy's music. I knew the most popular ones, you know, Margaritaville that I'm doing. So this is a review, but, you know, it's five o'clock somewhere. Everybody, no matter what they like, whether they're just pure rap, knows that song. But he was so beloved, Jimmy. So here we go with Margaritaville. You have to be happy hearing this song. Nibbling on sponge cake, watching the sun bake. All of those tourists covered with oil. Strumming my six strings. On my front porch swing Smell of shrimp there beginning to boil Yeah Wasting away again in Margaritaville Searching for my lost shaker of salt But this brand new tattoo But it's a real beauty yeah. I'm Mexican I need a Mexico beauty. hat How it got here I haven't a clue <laughs>
that, you know, I think when I did the live version of it, that Penny Hedlund had made a gift request for a few days ago. Of course, I'm watching Jimmy on stage having fun. He switched up some of the lyrics, and it was just a bunch of fun. But I wasn't focused on the lyrics as much as I was here for the instrumentation. That's one of the reasons I really like doing audio. Ver I like live, too, because I love seeing the, the artists. I love seeing what they look like. I like getting different takes on songs. But when it's just audio, maybe I'm an auditory-type learner. I, no, not really. But in any case, I love dissecting what's taking place in the song. I do it differently, obviously, without the visual parts to it. And this song was more brilliant than I thought. I mean, in some ways, it was kind of simple in this regard, where at first it was like, he's down there wasting away. At first, it's like, it's nobody's fault that the girl, he doesn't have his girl. Then he's like, it might be my fault. And then he said, now I know it's my own damn fault. So it's just this real song about realization about something. But you hear a title like Margaritaville, and you can think, oh, that's just pithy. But it really was a far more serious song than I'd ever realized. And I've been hearing this thing basically since it was released. Uh, I never contemplated it. One of the reasons I love doing reactions is because I get to contemplate these things. This was a more serious song, that, but it had that Caribbean flair to it. It's sort of like bluegrass. When you hear it, you're immediately in a good mood. But it could be about somebody killing somebody. And there's that disconnect, that discord between the lyrics and the way the music would make you feel. And this is that way. This is really like a, a melancholy song that makes you feel good. So I guess in some ways ignorance is bliss. But uh, it's, uh, you know, there's, it's, it's, uh, did they have a xylophone? It's not a xylophone. I think it's those, you know, concave drums that they... The metal thingies. Um, I don't know what you call them, but all right, I'm gonna rate this song, guys. And I never would have thought in the past that I would have given this rating to this song until this very moment. That's going in the playlist of songs of a 10. That gets a 10. That is way, way more of a song than I'd ever considered. So, Jacob, thank you for that, for this realization. And uh, that goes in the playlist of songs that get a 10. Uh, wow. All right, folks, you can thank Jacob Herricks for that one. Have a great day. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Mm -hmm.